Can India strike high-value enemy targets from over 300 kilometers away before they even know what hit them? What if that strike could be launched from a fighter jet and land with pinpoint accuracy in just a few minutes? Welcome to Defense and Safety Engineering, your trusted source for India's strategic defense advancements and cutting-edge military technology. Today, we uncover the story behind Israel's air-launched LoRa missile, and well, why India might be eyeing it with some serious interest. The LoRa, or Long Range Artillery, missile developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, is a powerful quasi-ballistic missile system originally launched from land or sea. But now, a new air-launched variant has entered the spotlight, and it's really redefining battlefield dynamics. Imagine a missile launched from an aircraft at high altitude, flying up to 300 to 400 kilometers and striking hardened or mobile targets with 10-meter CEP accuracy. That's the potential of air-launched LoRa. LoRa is designed for deep strike missions, targeting command centers, enemy air bases, radar installations, and even mobile missile launchers. It travels at hypersonic speeds, follows a semi-ballistic trajectory, and uses GPS plus INS guidance, allowing devastating precision with a 600-kilogram warhead. When air-launched, the LoRa has even more flexibility, less time to launch higher elevation and extended range due to launch velocity. It's a smart weapon that fits somewhere between a cruise missile and a ballistic missile, but you know faster and a lot harder to intercept. So, for India, an air-launched LoRa could really be a game-changer, you know? With the rising threats along both the western and eastern fronts, India needs a fast response, long-range, non-nuclear precision strike option that can be launched from the air, and crucially beyond enemy air defense envelopes. Now, Israel is reportedly open to a transfer of technology offer, which could allow India to license produce the missile, or hey, even integrate it with indigenous aircraft like the Su-30 MKI or the future AMCA. Quite an interesting development, isn't it? Let's talk real strategy here. Air-launched LoRa could allow India to, you know, preemptively strike Pakistani missile bases in Punjab or Sindh, or even hit key Chinese positions in Tibet, all without actually crossing into hostile airspace. This really does align with India's evolving doctrine of deep conventional strike, rapid retaliation, and a technology-driven deterrence posture. With growing interest in standoff precision weapons and those recent successful tests of Indian cruise missiles, the addition of air-launched LoRa would honestly fill a vital gap in India's quasi-ballistic air-delivered arsenal. Given Israel's proven track record of defense cooperation, a deal could move pretty quickly, especially if DRDO is involved in co-development or integration. So, what do you think? Should India pursue the air-launched LoRa for its fighter fleet? Will it be a game-changer against our adversaries? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Defense and Safety Engineering, where strategy meets technology. Thanks for watching and stay secure.